Hey Cheeks, welcome back to my reactions to Made in Abyss. We're going to be watching the last episode of Made in Abyss today. Uh, so far, uh, we might get a season 3 at some point, who knows. This show has been really popular, there's a big possibility that it could happen. And we haven't really reached the very bottom of the abyss yet. We are at the second to last layer and uh, everything's being messed up around there. And last time, last time Faputa is just killing a bunch of people. Bunch of hollows, they're just dead. Until uh, Bellaf shows up. Uh, Faputa realizes that uh, she, she had, her mom was like what her mom was like and uh, got memories of her mother and her mother's best friend Bueko. So yeah, all that stuff. It was great. It was great. And then uh, she continues her rampage and then some monsters from the outside world started to attack and she decided that those are my prey you monsters. I'm gonna kill you monsters first. And she, got, she gets really beaten up by them and was actually saved by the hollows and for her to continue living she decided to eat some of the hollows and the hollows were giving themselves to her which is a uh, uh, full circle from the fact that her siblings were eaten by the humans back way back when mm. Mm. wow perks sorry about that um yeah that's great and now uh, i i don't know what's gonna happen next this is a double episode long episode so we're just gonna watch this. There's gonna be two versions of this reaction video. A picture picture version which you can find in the description below and a time beast version which you're watching right now. Yep. If you want to sync up your images with the time beast version, you can do that with the five second countdown. It's gonna count down from five because that's what they do. And as here is the same thing, my video starts playing on my screen. So yeah, let me just check everything. Uh, subtitle file, dialogue, in Japanese, uh, unmute, please. Okay, and timer will go here. I need to move the tiny bit here. Just, just a bit, just a bit. And then move this tiny bit there. And play. That's a lot of monsters. Yeah. Oh, this thing is still alive. What is that? Is that a weapon? Oh, it is using it as a weapon. Obliterate them. Whoa. Is that the same line she used? Talking about the, the people be before. Sasse! Sasse! What? How does that work? Okay! Nice. She's, is she smiling? Is she smiling? Do we get an opening? We get an opening. If you're watching the baby discussions in the back over on YouTube, check those out. Thank you to the Patreon to get this video so we early in advance. All that fun stuff. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel, especially the YouTube channel. Okay! By the way, I was checking my uh, YouTube studio earlier for uh, the other videos that I made for Made in Abyss. I couldn't find Made in Abyss Season 2 Episode 11 and apparently I only named it Jace to Axe Season 2 Episode 11. Me dumb. <laughs> so I had to change all the names except for Breach because Breach is weird and wouldn't let me uh, go through my older videos. I uh, just fix BitChute and Patreon. Let me just check something. Okay, that works. Okay. Mm. 
哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒。Okay, see what this full two episodes long episode is about. Gold, gold. That's a okay. That's a weird title to have. <clears throat> is this a flashback? What's that noise? Is that uh, the, the robot? I think so. The robot they got destroyed earlier. Oh, she's mad. <clears throat> oh, she can't speak. What now? <laughs> Lights, come on. Move it here. Okay, good. Hmm. Okay. Okay. She can speak now. Totemo Ureshi. Okay. She can easily acquire knowledge. That's why she learned uh, Reg's language really quickly. Value hunting game. Nice. A modest wish. Okay, we're three principles. Oh, I'm gonna forget all this. I'm gonna go through this again. Haku, highest value. Yeah, I remember that one. The irreplaceable. Oh, wow, cool. Hmm. Immortal one, yeah. Ah. Gaburun. I like this perspective.
Is that? It's, oh, it was back in episode one or two, whatever it was. You're biting this. What? That's interesting. <laughs> oh, oh, that's what's happening. Wow. I'm just jealous. How about this butt is fragrant too? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh. Uh. Aww. Oh, that is strong. <laughs> oh. Uh. And we're back here. Is that thing dead? Is the ruffian dead? Ah, you gonna get more flashbacks? No, okay. Stop, Rico. Ma, I was checking something. I'm checking something. Sorry about that. Oh, good, cool. Oh, they're there. This this lady is nice. I'm assuming it's a lady. Excuse me. My leg hurts. I'm gonna switch positions. Oh, it's this guy. With, uh, Boyko.
Nie, 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 nie. Fuck you. What? Is that a bad thing? Okay. Good question. Rico being Rico. Oh, the, the, near the beginning. I remember that. Where's Mueco? You're smelling even better. I want to become... Yeah, I kind of thought that. So did freaking uh, Nanachi. Okay, interesting. Not a single one, there's... What? Accumulation of what? Page full of notes, but my handwriting's big, so for this one, because I'm, hur I'm in a hurry. Homesickness for the end of their journey. Okay. He's dead. Where's Boeco? Boeco was inside him for a while. Where's Boeco? Yep. Ah. What? Oh, excuse me. Oh, interesting. Oh, they're leaving. What about Fabuta? Never move on. A substitute. Substitute for what? Rick has a thing for hollows. <laughs> Just hollows. <gasps> what? What is it? Okay. 
Oh, you know it's... Oh, you actually got that, okay. What, what do they mean by accumulation exactly? I kinda get it, but I'm not entirely sure if I'm right. I'm gonna talk about it later. Ma! Ma! How far are we in? 19 minutes. Still a long ways to go. Hello, Fuego. Excuse me. Keep yawning today. Is it the antihistamine? Maybe. Excuse me. This reminds you of something. Mm. Decision. I keep using that word. Is this English? I'm not entirely sure. Hey, Flowers of Fortitude. Cute. What is it? That's a lot of... What? Oh no, oh no, oh no! Teeth falling out, uh It's, it's the force field, right? Why do you have to do this to me, show? Yeah, it's a yeah, the forest field the curse. Well, that's sad. Why do you have to do that? Who is it? Is that? Oh, it's, who are, who, oh, I saw her earlier. We saw her. There was focus on her earlier. What are you doing? Holy crap. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, it's there. You can see it. Yep. All right, so we are just leaving them. Good. What is Paco? Who's Paco yet again? That that's the purple guy. I saw beasts. Where's Paputa? Oh, uh, there's Paputa. Is she uh, regenerating? Regenerating, yep. That, I don't know what that is. Fight! Let's fight together! You're not a good for nothing, Reg. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on, come on. Whistle. Whistle time. Rushka, let's go. White, ah, let's go. Nose bleed, why? Did she exert herself doing that? Whoa, ooh, nice. Nice. Hit him, Yui. Okay. Okay. We're gonna kill everyone. Let's go. Oh, this messed up. Okay. Woo, badass. That's a CG dragon. I, I think it's a dragon. They, they call it something dragon. Oh, that's okay. Oh, really? That is the same uh, material. That is messed up, dude.
Whoa! What are you doing? Whoa! <laughs> I just realized that he was doing a bit late. <laughs> but that's a, that's a great idea. What is that? Aww. Is she just getting stronger? Hey, so yo. Why are Kaja and Masan being saved? Why are they spared, not saved? Dogs are barking, sorry about that. Interesting. This song is good. This song is amazing. This show has such a good soundtrack. And it fits the dark themes really well. Ah. Home sickness. It's destroying everything. Wow. This is sad. This is sad, but hype at the same time. Haku? Warm darkness. Uh, close enough. <laughs> Warm darkness. I talked about that multiple times. It's, it's still relevant. There's some dragons flying around. Looks like dragons, at least. What's gonna happen to Papaka? Is she gonna die? Hmm. Hello with no name. Masan. Oh. That's the only thing it can say. Ah. Hey, Reg! Nice. Reg with the same.
ma o ya let's gonna survive I think Hadi. Ah, magic aja. Oh, the gas. That is magic aja. Oh, he's gonna feed himself to Paputa. Ooh, badass. What does Pami mean again? <laughs> Glasses. What is it? Oh, my is also gone. We outside. I think we're outside. What is it? That's a lot of monsters, beasts, whatever you want to call them. Killing its own kind. Interesting. This season has a lot of things eating other things. A lot of those things are still alive. Finish your job. Oh, Vlake was here. Nice gun. Aww. We just experienced a war. <laughs> yeah, disappeared. That's what we're gonna say. Yeah. She still has a wound. I like the continuity. <laughs> Just remembering that. Hmm.
อืมอืมเอวิ่งซาดยอสยับยาเนื้อเชิดเอวิ่งของพ่อแม่ในเมมโมรี่ของคุณชีวิตจองจะกูซาวด์กูดิสซาวด์กูดิสไอ้ชอว์เอ็นชิสเตอร์ไม่ชอว์วิ่งไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ก็มอนก็มอนเราจะบุรีเธอว่าเราจะบุรีเธอด้วยอะไรไม่ใช่สีแดงอ๋อใช่มีสีแดงมาร์เก็ตมาร์เก็ตอะไรก็ไม่ใช่สัญลักษณ์อะไรไม่รู้เลยสัญลักษณ์อะไรกับบุยาคุยกับเราสิเดี๋ยวเราจะพาเธอไปกับเราไปกันไปกันไปกันไปกันไปกันไปกันไปกันอืมเร็กซ์ voice actor is going off <laughs> I think I like it okay come on come with us yes It's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> 
We're all idiots. Come on. Yes. That's cute. Okay. Mm. Come on, come on, hugs. Headpiece. <laughs> when it comes to floppiness, I was gonna tell you that too. He likes the fluffy boys and girls. Actually, they're girls. Never mind. Yeah, and it's darkness and then there's light, wow. It's really neat. Cool visuals, everyone. Okay. Oh, right, we're done. If you're watching the baby discussions in the back over on YouTube, I didn't expect to get both the openings and endings this episode, but here we go. I'm gonna go pee before we start the discussion, actually. Overactive bladder. It's a fun thing. <laughs> what a great thing to have. That was a sad episode, but it did have a happy ending, I guess. I say that I love you, even though I miss you. Na 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 I will be here for you always and forever. Na 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 na. We're gonna end this off, okay? Let's talk about this episode. First of all, I want to say, really, really good episode, really, really good end to a, to a season, and I kind of want the season 3 now. Um, uh, I'm going to say this right now, so uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to replace this show with a, with a sequel that I have watched before but I didn't continue uh, yet. So uh, we're going to vote for sequels every Wednesday, so that's the thing that's going to happen. And yeah, okay, uh, other than that, this is a good ass show. I just think, I don't know, there's, there's a few pacing issues, like very nit, if I were to nitpick it to, to hell and back, but it's so few that it doesn't really matter. And I almost want to say this is perfect. Do I like this more than season one? I think I like this more than season one. We're gonna talk about that in a bit. I'm gonna go back and go pee. All right, so let's talk about this episode. Uh, let's go back to the very beginning. Is, did we start with the opening? We did not start with the opening. We so popped up fighting a bit more. And uh, this guy, I forgot this thing's name, or whatever it is, just Ruffian, I guess. Uh, attacking him with like a sword thingy. Um, I don't know. Cool fight scenes though. Nothing too crazy. Like, the show doesn't focus much on fights, so I don't blame them for not uh, making amazing fight scenes. So, yeah. 
Ah, uh, flashbacks. We got a lot of flashbacks for Faputa. Is Faputa's Haku Ren, 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 Reg, or Bigu, whatever his name was? Gabu. Um, I'm the same as him. So Faputa has like amazing uh, uh, learning ability where she just learns the language almost rather quickly. Burps. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. So she just kind of marks for this guy and then they kind of became friends and it's great. I want to go through... I want to go through this. When she is gathered, poo. She's initial value, okay? The beginning of desire or a modest wish, which is uh, referring, a, which is not referring, but uh, reminiscent of the idea of wishes again with the, with the cradles. So that's cool. Ku is the piling up of value beyond desire, which is the idea of accumulation that uh, w w that guy, I forgot his name, the guy that uh, orchestrated a lot of this, uh, that guy. That guy is talking about Ku, the accumulation of desire. Gutsu is the solidification of a wish, so it's when a wish is uh, granted, okay? I'm, I'm, not, I'm gonna forget this almost immediately, but I wanna go through this again for a while now. May is extraordinary value, the liberation of a wish. I don't fully get that. I don't fully get that. Um, it means purity and impurity as well as chaos. I don't get that. Haku is the highest value. Yeah, I remember that one, the shape of the soul. It's also called the irreplaceable. Yeah, that's great. Okay, the transition from this to, okay, first of all, this perspective is really neat. Um, okay, um, and then we, how do we switch, how do we transition? So from this shot, oh, it's just a fade, never mind. Um, okay. I like the fact that freaking, uh, Reg is, I think, biting on Nanashi's tail. If that's if, if I'm seeing that right, or whatever it is, what whatever part of Nanashi that is, it's Reg. Is that you? Why didn't you go looking for me when you're already back here? It's really interesting. So she can go out of the outside of the village, but she can't go inside of the village. Okay, in the village itself. Okay, that makes sense. Um. You already have Faputa and I like this so much. <laughs> like, just the fact that Reg has a thing for furries. And also the fact that uh, that's, that's a thing that we're thinking of right now. Also, didn't they mention this in the movie that Reg's pee pee goes hard whenever uh, <laughs> whenever he hugs uh, Nanachi? Is that a thing that they mentioned in the... <laughs> in the... Yeah. <clears throat> My voice is uh, running out. <clears throat> I might talk a lot softer. But also the idea that did Paputa also say that, oh I also want to I also want babies from you, Reg. So that makes sense that she's gonna be jealous of Nanachi. That makes sense. Um <clears throat> uh, bring this to bring this to the, the craftsman. Which is interesting because first of all it proves that this robot, Gabu or whatever his name was does not have any ill will towards the villagers. It's only Faputa, which is interesting. And also the fact that Faputa is actually willing, again, to disregard her anger for the sake of Reg. Because this is for Reg, like, yeah. Because she noticed that the, the girl that was with Reg is holding this. So she's doing this for Reg, if I'm not mistaken. So that's cool. Ooh, I like the ooh. So, uh... Masa's life is sad. Everyone's life here is sad. Everyone's everything in this episode is sad. And then we're talking to the mastermind. Is there some everyone going out of the way to care for each other? Again, talking about accumulation. I don't fully get the accumulation thing. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, I don't know what to talk about that much to be honest. This is a very straightforward episode, but I like it. It's a good end to it. Mm. How's the rest of the netherworld to do that, becoming hollow, to become more than human? We already talked about that, how his whole ideology and obsession with uh, becoming more than human. Kind of similar to uh, that guy, 
uh, the, the guy from the Dawn, whatever, the movie. It's like uh, he wants to become more than human, so he decides to experiment on these kids, which is fucked up. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna play. Okay, I freaking love Rico. He, Rico here. Rico just being. I still love everything! Like, I'm glad I went here. Which is something that you wouldn't hear a child say after witnessing so many deaths. Witnessing her getting herself hurt so badly. Uh, so many people dying around her. Like, um, it's uh, very reminiscent of the idea of just adventure and just a pure heart that just wants adventure. And that's, that's really cool because, uh, again, the abyss is basically a big old metaphor for adventure and the idea that there's some unforeseen dangers and you might never come back. And just all of that combined with the idea that you just yearn for it. You just yearn for it. It's not something that you can easily express properly into words, but you just look for that, you just want it. And it's the idea of the warm darkness again, about, uh, about having like the abyss is a horrifying place, right? And so it's darkness, if you will. And then having that warmth within it because you found something that is amazing inside of it. And even though it is kind of cliche to go for the idea of the gold all along was the was the friendship, was the was, was the motherhood that came along with it, the brotherhood and all that. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of cliche, but I like the way they did it. It's really it really fits in the show really well. So that's the thing. Anything else? Um, Fabota with her yellow hair is really good. Okay, just the idea that um, or it is to challenge the huge bit too. So it's uh, very similar to how Rico thinks. Yeah, everyone's like that here. So why would we? Yeah, why would we run away from our fate? Basically, I I need to refund what's left of the room change, right? <laughs> okay, I didn't read this part. Dream <laughs> Joshua. That's kind of funny. Um, okay. Um, again. <clears throat> so they were talking about how uh, they were being summoned by Faputa instead of just being called out and just screaming at them and being like, I'm gonna kill you! They're actually being summoned and saying, This is the role that you have to play. I have to kill you. And this is what, you do. This is what we need to do. We can't have anything else. And I talked about this before, I think in the... I think it was the episode where Faputa was first... Uh, uh, her birth was shown, I think. Um, I talked about the possibility of some of the Hollows thinking that this is just right. This is how it should be. And how they should handle things is um, by simply letting Faputa kill them. Uh, which is... We ended up going that direction at some point. I thought, okay. Yeah. Okay. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, we talked about this. I'm already done with my first page, and it's uh, all my handwriting is really big because I was having in a hurry because I really want to uh, <laughs> to read all everything. Uh, who is this girl? I'm sure it's a girl. I, I forgot her name already, but. Um, she played an important part in saving Boeko, so who is she? Exactly. Boeko's here and she for completely forgot about the fact that Oh yeah, there's the Curse of the Abyss. I've been gone for too long that I forgot about it. Also this thing, this thing. Just the idea that uh, she finds Rico to be somewhat less than her. Like she can do way better things than Rico. And she's older, she's taller, she's blah blah blah. But Rico is the one that's able to decide what she wants to do, which is a very interesting trait for our main character for our main character. Because again, I like it when characters are very proactive, specifically if they're the main character. So Rico just exhibiting more of that and just uh, letting Bueco into that world of hers by being like that. And it's really fun. So yeah, it's really neat. <laughs> also, have we seen her in this outfit again? I don't think we've seen her in this outfit anymore. This is the only outfit we've seen her ask for a while now. Pushka! Pushka is cute. Pushka is cute. I, I still hate the fact that she had to die that way. It's so fucked up. <laughs> it's so messed up. Come on. This guy! 
This guy is a... I hate this guy. So this guy actually put a, a put up a bridge for the monsters to come into. <sighs> All for the sake of, you know, having that accumulation and have, becoming more... Beca creating more non-human humans. Beyond human humans, if you will. So, beyond chicken. <laughs> I don't know. Um, beyond nuggets. I like that we keep seeing Iromiri like this. It's really cute. Uh, this one is not cute. This one is horrifying. This is the kind of body horror that I usually end up liking because it actually freaks me out. Instead of just, you know, body horror where, oh, I chop off your arm. Eh? No, that, that, this kind of stuff freaks me out the most. I already talked about this before, but this is the kind of body horror that I like. But I like, I mean, it horrifies me, but I like it. <laughs> um, it looks so disgusting. Oh my god. And their teeth start falling out. I'm gonna assume those are not baby teeth like Rico's when the Rico's start falling out. The fact that it turned into hollow means I'm still human. So she still hasn't seen herself for a while now. That's interesting. I mean, there's there aren't any mirrors here, now that I think about it. And when uh, Rico uh, let her free, one of the things that she said was, is my, is my form still human then? Basically, somewhere along those lines. So, yeah. Interesting. This girl, I don't remember why what you are or who you are, why you care so much for Gueco. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, let me just check something. Yeah, okay. You're still unconscious. Okay. She's still fighting. And Reg is here. I freaking love this smile. And then changes to... Mm. <laughs> Uh, okay, just sudden suspicion because uh, Reg. Okay, Reg finally understood that uh, this world is complex, and not just Reg, but everyone in the group pretty much understood that this is a complex uh, issue that we have right now. And to be honest, the main thing that we need to do right now is to let Faputa kill these people. We don't really have a choice, and um, it would help out uh, getting all the beasts out of the way. And uh, also fulfill the destiny of Aputa. That's great. Okay. And Reg starts fighting with them and it's great. And then doing the whistle again and Rico just kind of faints because of it and starts having a nosebleed. This this scene is really cool as well. I love it when uh, there's fights with... This is why I think I would like Attack on Titan even though I haven't watched it yet. It's because I like it when fights involve small characters fighting against large ass characters. I don't know, I always find that very interesting whenever it's done well. So yeah. Also, these things are CG at some points. I can't find it, but they're C they turn to CG at some points and it looks so good. It's, like for CG, I mean. Like I'm one of those guys that aren't necessarily the biggest fan of CG in anime. But when it's done well, it's done well. So yeah. It's time to set Mother free, so soon. I have not been discussing that much. And ate everyone. Okay, that is bro. I like the idea of scent being the thing that uh, gives Faputa the most uh, information. Uh, that makes sense because scent is actually a thing. It's actually one of the, you know, it's the uh, strongest uh, strongest sense, sense that you can use to, uh, to remember things. So that actually makes sense in a weird way. <laughs> Um, yeah, eating them to have the scent is weird, so that's not very realistic, but it's okay, it's anime. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna add a dash of realism to it, so that's cute. It's really good. Okay, um, pulling, pulling a Shigaraki and just destroying everything is awesome. I love the animation bits here. I love all of the particle effects that we see. It's not even too crazy, but uh, they definitely did their time to add the particle effect, effects in, because lesser shows usually just don't. Just don't put any of the particle effects and it looks really sad. <laughs> Not sad, it looks weird. It looks off. Okay, next. I was trying to keep my connection with you for not forgiving myself. I want to read this again. I was not going to tell anyone. Is that what you really wanted wasn't just children.
So it wasn't just children. She didn't want to be forgotten. Is that it? I don't know. Maybe that's it. I don't know. That's also related to the idea that Rico always tries to remember everyone that she can. Uh, so that's cool. The child inherited your hopes. The things that remained inside you are now trying to disappear. It don't mean thank you for allowing me to remain human. I was able to suffer the worst punishment possible, attending your death threat. Wow. Okay, so that's also part of the reason why we need to keep her around. Iru, thank you. I love you. Irumui, thank you. I love you. I think that's what she said with the cutoff bits. Warm darkness. Remember my warm darkness. Again, I love that idea of warm darkness. Just... I don't know. You know, a lot of the time, the reason why um, I don't like the whole idea of we went adventuring and the, the real treasure is the friends we made along the way. The real reason why that usually sucks as a, as a twist is because nothing that bad ever happens. <laughs> Imagine something extremely horrible and you're still able to find happiness within that. That's the kind of uh, uh, friendship that uh, or relationship that this show is trying to portray. It's not just that we went on an adventure and now we're even greater friends. It's literally we went on an adventure, so many people died, so many people suffered because of us and now I still find this weirdness within all of it that I still want to continue this adventure with you because it's great. That's great. That's great. That's a great way to express that. Instead of just saying, you know, what I said earlier. Yeah, that's great. So No more energy cells too. Do you think that if I that if I ate the other two I would have survived? And she ends up eating them as well later. This is cute. Didn't she have a similar thing like this in the, in the beginning uh, or whatever you are, they? Even didn't they have a similar thing like this? Because Masan, I do not know if you're a boy or a girl or whatever you are, you're a Masan, that's what you are. So yeah. So we finally see uh, Majikaji, Majikaja's uh, physical form and it's a gaseous form. I wonder why she started acting weird after eating Majikaja. Is there something weird in that gas? <laughs> Has Magikaja been smoking weed again? Oh my god. Um, Masan is gone. And, yeah. And then the beasts, these beasts eat each other and it's great. This, this conversation is really sad. This is, this is really, really sad. I'm gonna go through it again because I wanna suffer again. So I'm gonna so much, you know, no, you're not alike. A very clingy child. Was really shy with strangers and very smooth. <sighs> Look at her face. It's so sad. It's so sad. She's so so warm. Mother do she'll never ever come back to me. And then we do that line. No matter what I do, she'll never ever come back to me. That is so sad. Uh that's great. Okay. Mother had you there for her. Paputa inherited everything of mothers of Paputa thought. Only the memory of your existence, Viroko, was nowhere to be found in Paputa. Boiko, you are the only thing mother did not want to hand over. <sighs> that is so good. Her haku of warm darkness. <sighs> it's gonna be the title of this episode, Warm Darkness. This is great. That's, that's such a good line. It's such a good system to have. Not really a system, but like a, a theme to have. They say, they say that Golden City turns even jungle to gold. I think I remember that now. You know me, Yuri. I know. I was happy that upset I have dark eyes. That's why I saw you. That's why you found me. You changed me. And she's dead. <sighs> That's the gold. That's the gold. All we want, what we want is, all we want is gold, yeah. This one belongs to mother, she's not pop with us, so sweet. Aww, so she starts crying. Those guys will probably drawn to the center, okay. That's what we mean by gold. 
tries to jump into gold. Ah. And then she starts saying, Maybe you should come join us on our adventure. We're only one, we're going one layer deeper and we don't even know what's in there. Uh, we don't even know if there's food there. We might just die the moment we get there. I don't know, but we're gonna get there because we want adventure, right? We want adventure. It's great. Fuck. I said I would swear less. I keep saying that right now. I like the idea of gathering of fools because uh, that's one word that uh, Fakuta actually used multiple times. Especially if you're even talking about regs, that you're a kind fool, basically. And it's really interesting because um, all I would say that all the people that ever decided to explore the very depths of the abyss, they're all idiots, and to a certain extent. Uh, to a certain extent, and to a certain other extent, they're very courageous. And to an another bigger, bigger extent, they are very very curious and that's the biggest thing that these people have in common is that the curiosity the childlike wonder of wanting to see what's in there so yeah there's a hole go inside it basically um yeah that's it that's it that's great and uh i don't think i don't know if she's ever gonna join because she said that she's gonna decide but she is unsure but based on how she acts i think she's gonna join and also i don't know what we're gonna do with her character if she just doesn't join I would not like that that much. Like, the only reason I didn't like, say, Ozen that much is because um, she felt like a stepping stone. Um, yeah, I mean, similar to Prushka, but Prushka, I don't know. Maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe she can't, maybe freaking Papata can also just be a stepping stone in the story. I don't know. She, we can't do that, but I would like, like it if it, we didn't do that. This image is actually really cool. Just the idea of just complete darkness in the background and then just seeing light in the middle again warm warm darkness the idea of seeing that light in the in the darkest times and feeling good about certain things because of it <sighs> that is great okay i think i'm done uh do i go through the entire rubrics no i will not i will just compare this to the last season and go from there so i think i like this more than the last season to be honest i think i'm not entirely sure i gave the last season a nine and this one, I think I'm also gonna give it a 9, but like a higher 9. If I gave the last one a, like a 9.1, I'm giving this like a 9.4. Which is just going to be a 9 on overall now. So, yeah. I freaking love this. I freaking love this. Um, I want to see more, but again, we're just gonna put up polls for, uh, for sequels every Wednesday. So, yeah. For every Wednesday, we're gonna do sequels. I believe Spy Family won the last, uh, the last sequel, Patreon poll. I know. I think so. I think so. Let me just see. Spy Family won. Spy Family won. Part two. We're gonna watch part two here, and uh, I might do multiple double features for that. I'm not entirely sure yet. I might do double features for Macross. But we're gonna do at some point. So I don't know. And there's no other. Um, there's no other what's the word for it? Uh, slot for the sequel so far, so we're just gonna do that do it this way for now. Okay, I think we're done. Uh, nine score, nine out of ten, nine point four out of ten. Really good stuff. I loved it all the way through. And um, if I have any issues with it, I honestly don't. Again, there's probably some minor pacing issues at some points, but it's not really that big of a deal. It's really, it's really, really minor that it doesn't really matter anymore. So. I don't even think we got that this season. I think we only got that every season one. So, yeah. I think I also want to talk about um, if what is waiting on the next layer. Because we need to go down now. There's literally no way to go up anymore because uh, the force field's back and we can't really do much about it. So we have to keep going down. Um, are we gonna? If we ever get a season three or a movie. I think we're just going to, uh, I don't know. I don't know where we go from here. Where do we go from here? It's of course, the bottommost layer, but you know what I mean. Anyways, I think that's it for me for now. So, if you want to see Spy Family Part 2, episode, uh, part two Episode 1, which is going to be like Episode 13, I think, you can do that with the Patreon link below. I know it's a completely different show, but if you want to do that, Patreon, $3 a month really helps out. If you can do that, do that. But if you can't, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, leave a like if you just love the channel, all the fun stuff, and bye!